Hi, everybody. We got another interesting um, incident. It's, this one is known as CVE 2024-3400, which is the PAN-OS command injection vulnerability in Palo Alto's Global Protect Gateway. Uh, some of the key players are Velexity, who discovered it, Palo Alto, who's affected by it, and Unit 42, which is their um, threat team. Okay, so the summary is just a few days ago, April 10th, Velexity identified a zero-day exploitation um, of a vulnerability found with, within the global protect feature of um, Palo Alto Network's Pan OS at one of its network security monitoring customers. And so Velexity received a couple alerts. They noticed something was going on. They um, did some investigation, and they determined that that particular device was compromised. And then the following day, they observed another incident that was similar, and um, it was by the same actor, and it was an identical exploitation. So um, this vulnerability um, was a, is um, based on a command injection uh, vulnerability. It's in the global protect feature of the Palo Alto Network's PanOS software for a specific um, firewalls that they have. It's not for all of them, it's just a few of them. Um, it enables an, an authenticated actor to execute arbitrary code with root privileges on the firewall. The fixes are um, hopefully going to be released uh, around the 14th and it affects uh, just a few other uh, versions of operating systems. So it's 10.2, 11, 11.1. It doesn't affect all their appliances and so far, um, they have not found anything else that has been impacted. So again, the, the key players are Velexity, Palo Alto, um, and Unit 42 are the key players for this. So Velexity, again, is the, the team that discovered it out in the wild. Palo Alto is the victim. Unit 42 is Palo Alto's group that is going to um, help fix this. So uh, some of the, the key things to know is that there's also a backdoor that was created using Python scripting, and that's the um, they're calling that upstyle. The tracking for this particular incident is named Operation Midnight Eclipse, and CWE 77 is the enumer enumeration that is um, associated with this, and that is improper neutralization of special elements used in the command, command injection. So some of the terms that you'll see in some of the articles, you'll see the term access control list. This is a list of permissions, um, and it, this list of permissions may tell you who and what can access and what may be allowed to be done. So like read, write. So if someone is allowed to access it, they may only be able to read. They may not be able to write to the files, that kind of stuff. Attack vector, also known as a threat vector, is how the bad guys get in unauthenticated attacker. This is an attacker who did not have to perform any authentication steps to perform intended actions and currently they do not know who this um, unauthenticated attacker for this incident is yet. C2 is command and control. It's um, usually used by attackers to retain com communications and compromised systems within a target network. Command injection, this is what we've been talking about, is a vulnerability that allows an attacker to submit system commands to a computer running a website. CWE 77 is the specific one for this particular incident. So what is a CWE? It's a common weakness enumeration, so it's just a way of um, documenting um, certain weaknesses that have been recognized in the past. So CWE is a community developed list of common software and hardware weakness types that could have security ramifications. Weakness is a condition in software, firmware, hardware, or service component that under certain circumstances can contribute to the introduction of vulnerabilities. Weakness conditions are in many cases introduced by the developer during development of the product. NSM stands for Network Security Monitoring. Um, as mentioned earlier, uh, Velexity recognized while they were monitoring their customer systems these attacks and this so this is an automated process that autom that monitors network devices and traffic for security vulnerabilities threats and suspicious activities 
So they noticed the suspicious activities. Root privileges is also known as root access. Root access is often referred to as root privilege, so it goes back and forth. It's the highest level of access permissions given on a computer or a network system. Zero day. A zero day vulnerability is a vulnerability in a system or a device that has been disclosed but is not yet patched. An exploit that attacks a zero day vulnerability is called a zero day exploit. Okay, where is the zero day in this situation? This is a command injection vulnerability in the global protect feature of Palo Alto Networks Pan OS software for specific versions. And then here are all the credits. There's quite a few websites, so I'll just um, share them. They'll be in the um, summary also for the video. And um, let me go through a couple of the sites. So. Um, NVD has a description of it, and remember that NVD is not the most reliable site right now. They're struggling with manpower and resources to keep up with everything, but they do describe this particular um, vulnerability. Uh, just like we were talking about, it's a command injection vulnerability in the Global Protect feature of Palo Alto Networks Pan OS. And so there's still some interesting information here, but again, um, you'll see NVD assessment not yet provided. So be careful. There's not a lot on these sites right now, and I am sure they're working hard at trying to figure out a way to maintain and keep this site going. All right, another site that we went to was um, Unit 42, again, which is part of um, Palo Alto. And so this is their threat brief. And basically, it tells you a little bit about um, the activity from this vulnerability and how, how they're working um, to help mitigate it and prevent it from happening again. Uh, CWE, the common weakness enumeration, this explains what a, com um, a command injection is. It uh, goes over, it gives descriptions, it talks about some of the relationships to some of the other ones. And um, you'll see down here, you'll see some common consequences. You'll see a likelihood of exploit for this one is very high. And then it gives examples. And this these examples are for people who like to do deep dives into the technical aspect of these. But it'll give you an example in C, gives examples in Java, and then um, Java again, and C. So it just kind of continues and tells you how, um, how some of these injection um, incidents can occur. And then the Hacker News, this is actually the first article that I read. I, I found this on X, also known as Twitter. And then I started um, deep diving into the rabbit hole on this. But um, the Hacker News is a good site, and they provide really good information. If you read this article, you'd probably get a lot um, out of it. And you may not even have to go any further, because it does talk about everything, inc including some of the um, information about the scripting, um, who discovered it, uh, some of the files associated with the firewall that might have been affected, etc. And then Velexity, here's their website, and here is their documentation about the zero-day exploit. And again, here's another one that goes into a deep dive. It's a little bit more technical. And for people who are familiar or experienced with this, this is probably a good um, article to read. It talks about the timeline of discovery and the reporting. And so right now we are um, at April 12th. Blexity publishes its findings. So it tells you how it discovered it and the processes that it's going through to try to help fix it. And then what else do we have? We got Google search and I think that's it. One more. We got one more. So unit 42. Uh, this really just talks about what they do as an uh, organization and um, what 42 does for Palo Alto. And then we're right back here with the credits, and we're at the end. And so again, CVE 2024, this is a recent um, vulnerability, and it has already been exploited out in the wild. And we're going to wish everyone luck and hope that it gets mitigated and resolved quickly. Uh, thank you. See you later next time. Bye-bye.